Today we have the Bergara HMR again in 308 Winchester. This one is their Wilderness Series, I believe. If you are curious about all of the exact details on all the equipment, the components, and everything being used in this video, please refer to the description below in order to see that. We are shooting a bolt-action rifle with a five-round magazine for YouTube's sake. We are on a private range. There is no one else out here. It's just me, and uh, it is a safe backstop, so there are no safety issues. That being said, we are going to be shooting two different loads, so this should be a relatively quick video. We have IMR 8208 XBR. We are going straight to, almost straight to a max charge based on Hodgson's data. And we are going to be shooting 268 grain bullets. So we have uh, 168 grain CR Match King. We're gonna shoot in the first group. We got four rounds. And then the next group, the second group, and the only other group that we're gonna have is the 168 grain Burger Classic Hunter. We are going to be getting velocities. We are just going to try to see if either of these even have any interest in attempting to shoot well because so far nothing has shot good in this gun consistently. So I'm just trying to figure out if anything is going to shoot because this has sort of been a bit of a problem child from the start as far as uh, me messing with it. It hasn't, it hasn't shown any promise of consistent accuracy. So that's kind of my track record with 308. I'm not blaming the gun. Uh, I actually really like Bergara's. I think that Bergara makes a great rifle. However, this one, um, 30 cals don't like me, and this one is is following that uh, following that track record. So we're gonna go ahead and go for the left side of the center diamond here. Gonna put four rounds with the Sierra 168 grain Match King with 42 and a half grains of IMR 8208 XBR. Okay, so that was 2671. The impact on that went way high. It's not even close to where I thought it was gonna hit, which is a little concerning. We're gonna go ahead and shoot another one because it got farther from the GoPro, but we're lucky it didn't go low because it probably would have destroyed it. But we're gonna go ahead and put another one on paper here. Very weird looking hole. 2681, it's grouping so far which is odd. 2667. 2650, so that just sucks. I, I'm i kind of about to be done with this gun. It's just not shooting well. I mean, nothing has shot well from the day that I've received it. Um, it just has not shot anything impressive. I'm. Highly considering just going to like super lightweight bullets just to see what they do because most of what we've shot has been pretty heavy for the most part. So maybe it wants to see some lighter stuff. I don't necessarily subscribe to, um, you know, some guns just like a certain grain weight of bullet per se, but there are definitely truths involved in that. So there, there are reasons that sometimes make sense, but even the velocity wasn't consistent on that one. So the average velocity was 2667, extreme spread of 31, and a standard deviation of 11. That powder, the last time I shot it, literally had a standard deviation of like two. So it was stupid consistent. I am going to go ahead and shoot the next group. I'm going to go for the left side of the center diamond, and I'm just going to bring the impact down. I am a little nervous, <laughs> but we're going to do it. Okay, going for the left side of the center diamond here with the 168 grain Burger Classic Hunter. Same powder. 2661 2698 2692 2680 So, obviously that shot good. I don't know if that was a fluke because I did have one other group out of this gun that shot fairly well and I tried to duplicate that load and it did not shoot good at all the next time. So we will probably retest this before we just settle on that. But that's by far the best group that this gun has shot to date. And the velocity wasn't terribly consistent, but it was acceptable. Considering how much I've struggled with this gun, I'm just kind of gonna take what I can get at this point. Yeah, so the extreme spread was 30, I'm oh, sorry, Average velocity was 2682, extreme spread was 37, and the standard deviation of was, was 14 feet per second. So that was a pretty big spread, actually. That wasn't nearly as tight as I thought it was, um, or that was a lot worse than I thought it was. The accuracy was good to see because it definitely was better, 
but the velocity sucks now. So you, it's kind of looking like you're just gonna get one or the other. I, I could probably play with seating depth and get some changes with that. I don't really know, but um, there's only one way to find out. So we're just gonna have to do a little bit more testing, but we may have at least found a bullet that is shootable out of this gun in a powder combination. We just might have to play with some, do a little bit of tuning, see if we can get the, uh, get the velocity consistency a little bit better. But so far, that's actually encouraging. So that's always good to see. That being said, that is going to conclude this brief video. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all stay risen, take care, be safe, and we will hopefully see you in the next video.